This is actually an old fight, but uh, it started making the rounds on Facebook. You can find it on infusionlive.com, and there's another channel on YouTube that actually has just the knockout. That's probably why it can be shown because it's old now. But here's my thing about talking about this fight. It's because people think that it was a kick on the ground that did the knockout. It wasn't a kick on the ground. It was a punch. And I'm going to show you how that happened using Q Show Jitsu in just a minute. Where the kicks at? Where the pains? Where the holes? Where the throws? You know what I'm saying? See so I think that the knockout was actually done by a reverse punch to the pressure point called liver 14. Because if you notice, when he punched him in liver 14, which is about right here, I'll put up a graphic of liver 14 in a second. When he punched him in liver 14, he was already down, his hands flew out from under him, and he was already thrown back up against the ropes. I think he'd already was knocked out from liver 14, and then he came afterwards and did a kick to the face. Which I don't even think was a liver kick. I think it was more of an accident. But I don't think it was a kick that knocked him out. I think it was a liver 14 strike. So I'm going to show you where liver 14 is. Then I'm going to show you the knockout. A quick Google search will tell you that liver 14 is on the line at the point where it falls into the dip of the sixth intercostal space. This position is three-fourths of the way up from the belly button. It is on the rough level of the sixth intercostal space. Fill across to the line of the nipple to find the point. It's basically about, I'd say, two and a half ribs down from where your nipple is in that um, in that gristly space there. Not really on the bone. Not on the bone. So this knockout is actually dated on September the 17th of 2016. And now, without further ado, let's go ahead and just show the actual knockout. We have Yesia there in the red corner representing Morocco and Sylvia Andre representing Angola in the blue corner with a black long shot. So go back and watch it a few times. Try to slow it down if you can. If you notice, he's already pretty much out on his feet when he's hit. And, and to prove that to me, if he wasn't out when he was punched, as soon as he hit the ropes, he probably would have been able to bring his hands up and cover up his face to protect against the kick. And he couldn't or at least move his head out of the way or something. He did not move once the kick was coming because I believe he was already knocked out from the punch because it was a perfect strike to liver 14, wood element, hitting in a soft spot in the uh, right between two ribs below the nipple. So, and the thing is, you learn how to do that strike in a lot of um, Taekwondo schools. That's just a simple reverse punch. That's all he did. He did a simple reverse punch and he came at him with a kick. So when you're practicing that on the air, you do reverse punch and then follow up with a front snap kick. This is how it could be applied. Now, of course, a lot of people in the fight objected to him kicking somebody while he's on the ground. I agree. That's a bad thing. That also would probably get you in trouble legally. So if you did use something like this, that's something that should only be used in true self-defense or some type of combat zone. And I would say if you get him knocked down and out with just a punch, just stop there. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people that talk, talk, talk about the martial arts. And peace. And as always, thank you for your time.